Yo, what is up? Today I'm going to show you how to set up Suyu on Steam Deck. I just did a video on Legion Go, if you want to go check that out, if you're on Legion Go, but this one's going to be for Steam Deck. Um, I cannot provide you firmware or keys, just lawsuit reasons, like I just can't bro, just go on the internet, find firmware and keys, come back to this video, and then let's get to it. So, to set this up, we're going to get to their page, I'm going to drop this link uh, how to get there, but once we do get to their homepage, we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for matching files on their GitLab page link. We're going to grab that and we're going to get the Linux version and we're going to download it. Cool, now that it's done, we can minimize that or exit out. We're gonna see it here, we're gonna double click it. Go ahead, click continue. Now when we first boot this game up, it's gonna say it doesn't see it's our keys and it doesn't see our firmware, but that's okay. That's what I'm about to show you. So click okay. We're gonna go to file and we're gonna open suyu folder. Now that we're here, uh, you could open up another tab like split it. We're gonna go to wherever you may have your firmware or keys. Right now we're doing keys. So let's grab them. We're going to copy. We're gonna go to the keys folder in CU. And we're gonna paste. Next, we need to grab our firmware. So we're gonna copy that. And now where we're going to want to go is NAND, System, Content, Registered. We're going to paste that folder here. And then we're going to extract it. You do not want to extract this beforehand. It, it gets messy. There's like 200 plus files in this. So we're going to come scrolling down. And now we can go ahead and delete that. We could close all of this out. And go ahead and close out Sue You. You want it to pick up and register everything, you know? So we'll open this back up. And now you see the message is gone. Um, next, we're gonna go ahead and add our games. So we'll double click that. You're gonna go to wherever you have your games. Mine, I still have Emmy Deck on here, so I'm just gonna go to my Switch folder or if you've done it separately, however you may do it, just get to the folder where all your games are at. We're gonna go ahead and select our folder and choose. It should generate all of your games. Next, what we're gonna wanna do is go to emulation configuration. We are going to go to, whoa. Um, there it is, I don't know why I just did that, but we're gonna go to controls. We're gonna leave uh, pro controller on. We're gonna change this to Steam Virtual. Now, when you, oops. When you uh, leave it, it should have highlighted everything. Uh, I don't know why it's not here. Uh, why is it like this? You know what? Let's close this out. Holy shit, did this game just like, okay. Um, let's minimize that because we need to save this and click OK. Save. And where the hell is OK? Can we not? Um, so we want to click that. But why is it doing this? Can we not minimize this? That's, um, that's going to be an issue. If I could just... I'm just trying to click OK, man. Well, you know what? Let's find out if it does pick up on our keys. Just click and save. I don't know why it's doing that. Why won't let me? 
I'm sure if you were like on a monitor, you'll have no problem accessing that. But we could go ahead and exit out. I'm not going to change any settings. I'm just going to jump into gameplay. Um, but actually, before I do, everything's going to be the same as usual when it comes to updates, mods. Like, if you have an update for your game, you're just going to go to install files to NAND. Find where your updates are. Like, mine are switch mods. And then you would just select it, open it, install it, you know, so on, so on. Um... If you have mods, right click the game, you're gonna open mod data location. And then right here is where we're gonna paste them, if you have mods. Let's go ahead, boot up a game, see if it works. I wanna know if it picks up on my keys. I am in desktop mode, emulation. I wonder if I could do it from here. No, it's just like overly sized for some reason. Controls, nope, it has a keyboard. You little shit. Yes, okay, if you could just like niche it. Oops, I just messed that up. Um. What we're going to do, actually, is close that out. Let's add it to Steam and test this in gaming mode because this is just so freaking messy. Um, open Steam. Go to Library. You're going to add a non-Steam game. We're going to go to where we just downloaded CU at. So mine's still going to be in Downloads. I'm going to scroll down. Hit CU App Image. Open it. Add Selected Program. Shut it down. You don't have to shut it down if you could just switch or go to big picture, whatever you prefer. I just always like to shut it down, let it really get its uh, motion in. Um, do we not click shut down? There it goes. I haven't used my Steam Deck in quite probably since I got in my uh, Legion Go. Uh, if you're considering getting Legion Go, highly recommend it. Steam Deck is still superior. It's always going to be my favorite. It's the one that taught me how to do everything, so there's no hate there. Um, but I just do prefer the Legion Go. Just Windows, like, people hate on it a lot. I don't know why. Like, Windows is actually great. I don't mind it on the handout. Or maybe because I have PC now. I've kind of gotten used to it, but it's really not what they make it to seem. Um, but we're just going to wait for this to boot back up. And then... Uh, we will continue on. Sorry this is a bit messier than Legion Go, but this is what I mean, like, just the compatibility is so much more simplified. Um, but no hate, no hate. I say this, like, with love. Like, that's it. Just speaking facts and specs, or my perspective. But, um, if you're still here, don't forget to like, subscribe. It would help with the algorithm. Um, uh, mean a lot to me. Okay, let's go ahead and look for CU. Uh, let's just try to boot it up. I wonder if I need to change any Proton. No, I don't. Really quick, let me double check. Yes, it did save. Perfect. So... Let's try something that's not going to take forever. You should map out your right uh, trackpad to be a mouse. Edit layout. Trackpad. Right trackpad. We want that as a mouse. Cool. Um, damn, I didn't map select. Um, what's a simple... Game to boot. Um, Super Mario. So we'll double click that. Oh yeah, by the way, if you want the full screen, like always, you're gonna go to view, full screen, check that off, so in the future it'll just automatically start for you that way. But uh, there it is. Let me get up some performance.
I don't know if I can skip this. Oh, wait. Damn it, why did I do that? Motherfucker. That was my fault. I'm so sorry. Come on. Shit, I should have done another game. Alright, we might have to watch this. I'm so sorry. But at least you get the full presentation. Cutscenes, gameplay. You're welcome. No, I'm just playing. Also, I'm being like extra quiet, man. It's like 2 in the morning right now. And I'm trying to knock this out. This is like nearly a perfect replica of Yuzu, bro. If not just the same software. Like, the setup, everything just felt too similar. Can we skip this? I don't even want to skip it, I don't know. But, you know, like, when you would click two buttons, like, on emulation, you could pause the game or, like, quit the game in a way. It's been so long, but, um... But, it looks to be a solid 30... This game is just like that because this was just the port. It is like full screen. I'm wondering if I should test a full screen game or just take my word, please. You know what? I think I'm going to test a full screen just to show full presentation. This video is lasting longer than I planned. But let's go to Super Mario 3D World. Might have to watch another cutscene. I was about to cry. I thought it was going to be black screen. But full screen. Holy shit, this is hitting 60 FPS. That's pretty impressive. I'm not sure if I have a mod, but I didn't even install the mods. That means it's just playing at 60 FPS, which is better than the Switch. Well, there you guys have it. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, join the Discord if you have like any questions, if I missed anything. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one.